Hey, good morning, my friends. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa, and we're going to look at the weekend weather. You especially want to know what's going on for Sunday, and not in a bad way. I think in some parts of Michigan, the southern two thirds of lower Michigan, you're going to want to know that Sunday is looking better and better and could be a surprise pretty good day. Surprise, of course, if you're not uh, checking this out this morning. So uh, you're watching the M Live Morning Weather Update with Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Best thing you can do for me to help me out, hit the share button so that you, all of your friends know about it. So Wayne Lynch, if you're there, hit that share button, please. And let's get to it and what's going on here. Okay, first off, we do have a couple of weather systems, again, with rain for today and tomorrow. Okay, uh, the radar is going to be a little deceiving on the northern side of this weather system because a lot of this will not reach the ground or maybe just an occasional drop here and there. And when you get to the green, you can definitely assume that the rain is falling and reaching the ground. Here's a good example, and I won't get too technical on you, but see this kind of cutout right here? That shows me that the returns here are very high in the atmosphere and here and not reaching the ground here. So these are probably not reaching the ground either. And then when you put a composite together, well, let's go over to Grand Rapids and you'll see just the opposite. And again, hitting high, high level returns, high in the atmosphere, not reaching the ground. So point being is if you see the green, it's raining. If you see the dark blue, might be. If you see the light blues, it probably is not raining. Here's the radar forecast. And you'll see that uh, as we go through the day today, noon, I would say uh, Ann Arbor, Monroe, Detroit, you will get wet. You will have rainfall, okay? So as you, ta as you go northward, it'll taper off to very light stuff and maybe not reach the ground at Flint and probably not at Saginaw, Bay City, and Grand Rapids. Let's continue to go through it. This is this afternoon, okay, and here's your rain, solid rain into the southeast. So it is going to be wet from Oakland County, maybe, probably Flint by late afternoon, southward to Ann Arbor, Jackson, Detroit. Again, Grand Rapids probably staying dry, Saginaw Bay City, eh, maybe light uh, rainfall. Okay, we go into this evening, first wave moves off, and then we go into tonight, midnight, and hey, good morning, Brenda from Traverse City. Second wave developing that will come across tomorrow morning. Hey, good morning, Chris Rutasiak. I need four dozen eggs too, by the way, Chris Rutasiak, if I can get those today. Hey, see that? I can order eggs. It's almost like a little mini Amazon here. <laughs> so here is the first rain coming across today, southeast, probably missing Saginaw, probably missing Grand Rapids. Here's the second rain coming across tonight and tomorrow morning into that same area, Detroit, Ann Arbor, Flint, the Thumb, maybe Jackson. Okay, and then we go into the weekend. We're into Friday night now. It's dried out except for maybe some activity along Saginaw Bay. Now we're into Saturday. This is Saturday, midday Saturday. It's a dry day, not much wind. Saturday, probably not a ton of sunshine, but not too bad of a day. Get something outside. And now I want to show you Sunday. So we're at Saturday night and it's still dry. We're coming into sunrise Sunday. Maybe some showers. The UP looks wet on Sunday. Okay, the UP will be wet. Northern lower, you'll get into some showers in the morning. But look at this weather pattern configuration for the rest of lower Michigan. Here's your storm. Here's your southerly winds. We're into the dry sector that can occasionally pop some sunshine. And that's temperatures in the 50s probably, and maybe 60 degrees in far southern. This is late afternoon or mid-afternoon Sunday 
and it's just a southerly wind and dry and everything is showing me that uh, situation I'll come back to that here are those temperatures after uh, temperatures mostly in the 40s these are the temperatures on Sunday excuse me there okay and can you see that warm air starting to come up well warm for this time of the year hey hi Howell and Denise I'm not even gonna try your last name yeah I am what the heck Jero Brisbane did I get it right wow that's a French one I think um, so southwest corner you're going to be pretty mild and my point being is that sunday could be a lot better than what your run-of-the-mill phone app makes it sound okay here is the other model uh this is sunday again sunday 2 p.m in the afternoon and and then 8 p.m so most of lower michigan will stay dry on sunday with the exception of the northwest corner starting to get into showers in the af late afternoon Let's see, what's this? Sunday is going to be awesome if it's 50. 50 in Wix and for even just a couple hours. Jennifer, you will you will get uh, 50 degrees there. Yeah, there we go, Brenda. Whoop, whoop. Maybe we can get some mountain biking in. I think you can on uh, on Friday. Or, I'm sorry, not Friday. Sunday. Saturday, too. Saturday, too. And it depends on where you're at. Okay. So let's go into next week and just kind of preview that one. This is Monday afternoon and evening. The storm system now is weaker. It still holds cold air behind it. It doesn't hold quite as much wind. And the American model breaks it down. The European model still has it as a compact circulation, but not as strong as last week. And that's kind of what I thought would maybe happen. I talked about that, how models... Um, kind of overdo things seven eight days out dave wants to know any cold weather coming deer hunting yes here we go this is next wednesday so the front is off to the east and remember i showed you the zero line rain snow line minus three probably snow minus six five thousand feet definitely snow minus nine that's cold okay um so as we go into next week yeah thursday friday Saturday, all temperatures in the 20s and 30s, so much colder than normal. And you're getting to uh, November 11th here and still seems to want to stay on the cold side. So I'm going to say that the first two weeks of November are going to be colder than normal by a fairly significant amount, several. All right, so there was my message to you. Today, it's dry except the southeast part of the state. Jackson, Detroit, Ann Arbor, and maybe a little north up toward Flint and the Thumb. Tomorrow, it's dry except for the southeast corner of the state. Same area. Ann Arbor, Detroit, um, Jackson, the Thumb, maybe up into Flint and Saginaw. Probably not Grand Rapids. Anything significant in Grand Rapids. Just maybe, you know, the sidewalk gets wet a couple of times. So Saturday's a dry day. Not much wind. Sunday is a sleeper day where it could surge in warmth warmth for November. Um, and temperatures jump into the 50s to maybe near 60 degrees in southern lower. Desiree Danger wants to know November 10th East Lansing coming up for the state game. Right now, that time period looks fairly chilly. Temperatures in the 30s, maybe struggling to get 40. And when we get cold in November, we generally have a 10 to 20 mile an hour wind also. So our weather pattern change happens about Wednesday of next week. And then we go back down into some colder temperatures. There's your forecast make some plans for the weekend because you are going to have a dry day on Saturday. You're going to have a dry day on Sunday in the southern half of lower Michigan. UP, you're going to want to find a good movie to go to. All right, this is Eb Life Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Thanks for joining me. Have yourselves a great Thursday.